What's up, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the New York Yankees versus Toronto Blue Jays. Major League Baseball matchup going down Sunday, April 23rd, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that like button. It helps us out a ton. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, check out PickDogs.com. Click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the Yankees and the Blue Jays. And a thrilling 3-2 game between these two on Saturday. Could we have more fireworks on Sunday? Potentially, as you send Clark Schmidt to the mound here, if you're the Yankees, an 0-1 record, an 8.79 ERA, uh, 16 strikeouts to 5 walks, while the Blue Jays counter with Kevin Gossman, 1-2 with a 3.65 ERA, 30 strikeouts this season. Now, the strikeout numbers have definitely been up for uh, for, for Gossman. That goes without saying, like I said, you know, 30, uh, 30 strikeouts this season, a 6-1 to strikeout to walk ratio, and he's just pitching extremely well. Um, but it didn't really help him last time out. He got five strikeouts in his last start, but still gave up eight runs, seven earned on the road against the Houston Astros. The majority of that damage done in the early innings as uh, as Gossman just got rocked and took him a while to get his feet back underneath him. And I'm not sure I have a, a ton of hope for him, at least, uh, you know, against this Yankee lineup that, you know, for the most part, has been seeing the ball fairly well. They haven't necessarily been piling on the runs I'm in a lot of their recent games, and you know, game, uh, you know, game two on Saturday, a lot more low scoring than I thought it would be. But again, it was Cole versus Manoa, so maybe not. But uh, like I said, now you got Gossman coming off of his worst start of the year. Um, we'll have to see how he responds. He's still given up 11 runs, 10 earned over his last uh, 12 and two thirds innings of work. So, well, again, I'm going to take a wait and see approach with Kevin Gossman. But on the other side, you got Clark Schmidt who has been getting rocked pretty much all season long. He's given up at least three runs in each of his four starts so far this season. Now, while that doesn't sound bad you know, on the surface, the reality is that he's maybe going four innings in the majority of those starts. He might be making it into the fifth inning a couple times, um, but still, he's not going very deep into games, and he's usually given up a lot of damage. And I'm not all that high on this Yankee bullpen, if I'm being 100% honest. So I think the runs are going to come flying on the board early and often in this one. Um, I'm looking for the over eight and a half here. Historically, this, this has been a bit of a uh, a bit of a higher scoring uh, series in past years. Um, as we closed out, you know, the 2022 season when these two were locking up, you saw a lot of lower scoring games, sort of playoff type baseball. But uh, I think the offense has come to play in uh, in Sunday's finale. I just don't trust the starting pitching matchup here. The bullpens have been shaky on both sides for me as well. So I'm going to roll with the over eight and a half, and that's going to be my free pick. Just a reminder, though, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that like button. It helps us out a bunch. And if you haven't already, check out Pick Dogs Premium for my best bets. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. The best bets in the business, excuse me, the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.